going on. I gotta get the one. I've got a sniper on that roof. Vermin on the roof, but I got an idea. Who are you talking to? Nobody. Your stereotypical donut is nothing but dough and sugar fried in fat, am I right? Right. Now that fat gums up your arteries and goes to your brain and you turn liberal. And the next thing you know, Barry Manilow's on the turntable and you're not going to work and you're voting for gun control. You see what I'm saying? You see that connection? Uh, uh, yes, yes. That's why I eat granola. I'd like a cup of coffee, please. What? Oh, yeah. Get that camera off me. What's the matter? I'm camera shy. Right, I was a child actor. Hey. What? What? Well, you better close that safe. Some brain dead rodent's gonna rob you. Hmm. Here, okay, goodbye. Well, what's your hurry? I gotta pay you, don't I? No, it's on the house, all right? Just, just get out of here, okay? I gotta close up shop. Now wait a minute. This place is open 24 hours, oh, isn't it? Oh, where am I? <laughs> Take this, Darrell. You know what I'm gonna do to you? I'm gonna stick your head in that microwave and set it on sandwich. Hammer, you can't do that. But there's no setting for sandwich? This is appalling. That's right. The only reason I steal is because I ain't got enough to eat. Oh, you hungry? That's it? Cover him, Darrell. What are you gonna do? Well, before I take him in, I'm just gonna give him a little bit of lunch. Oh. That's oh, expired two weeks ago. Oh, he can't eat that. Ooh, six weeks old. That's much better. And this is, ooh, expired 1968. 67, 66. Look at this. Good, good, good. Eat. You can't make him eat that. Well, he's nothing but scum and bones. Eat. <laughs> Nineteen fifty nine. Very good year for first radish. We should have saved room for dessert. Milk the cow. What? Milk the cow. Mm. What do I know about milk and a cow? Ready as you are. Easy, easy, easy. Mm. All right, little lady. I want that bucket filled with milk, and I mean pronto. Thank you.
It's all right. He needed sleep. Hello? Hello? Is that you, Sledgehammer? Yeah. Look, I'm, I'm sorry I'm late. Look, I'm, I'm taking a big risk here. Stay inconspicuous and try not to draw attention to yourself. Okay. 3.30. Okay. Now tell me where you are right now. I'm at the other end of the phone bank. Don't forget me. All right. Now what's this information you got for me? This guy's busting out of prison and he's coming to kill you. What's that worth to you, Hammer? Just tell me how much. One five thousand. Why, you egg-sucking leech. Lower your voice. Don't look at me. Hey, it's scale. Check the book. We're in union now, pal. Listen, I can't get a hold of that kind of money. I'm gonna have to check with my superior. Hurry up. We haven't got much time. Yes, Sergeant. Yeah, this is Hammer. Get me Trump pronto. I think he went to Tino's for lunch. Let me check. Hold on. Hey, hey. What's going on? I think the captain went to lunch. So I'm going to try him at the restaurant. This telephone is out of order. Shh, you want to leave? Stop. Please call. Hey, what are you doing? I'm calling the restaurant. Don't look at me. Get away. $25,000 payment to an informer. $25,000? Oh, that's right. They went union. What's it for, Hammer? For information. <sighs> to prevent someone from killing me. Forget it. Hey! What? What's it gonna be? Look! Deposit 35 cents. Yeah! <laughs> Listen, you little bloodsucker. I've had enough. I'm giving you 2,000 bucks and that's it. Well, couldn't you at least contribute to my dental plan? Why should I? You're not going to have any teeth in your mouth if you don't start talking right away. Have a nice day. Just take a second. Transaction cannot be processed at this time due to insufficient funds. Listen, sir. You need some reprogramming. Hammer! Please! Blowing away this machine's not going to solve anything. Now let's go inside and straighten this out like civil human beings. this for the third and last time. We are foreclosing on your home. You have three days to pack up and vacate said premises. What are you, deaf? Oh, and don't forget your free banking money. Now remember, three days. <laughs> How may I help you? Well, Pal 9000 out there tells me I have insufficient funds in my account. Uh, the thing is screwed up. I'm sorry, sir. Those machines never make mistakes. Look, I made a deposit two days ago. I want my money. All right, sir. I'll check it out. 
Your friend's high strung, isn't he? Your name, please? Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer. Where were you born? A tool shed? You think that's funny? You can do better than that. You see, I'm not as easy an audience as the old lady. So go ahead. Make me laugh. Or I'll have you in stitches. Hammer, let him go. Remember what I said? Civil human being? All right. I do want one of those bank bunnies. Our next contestant, Mr. Sledgehammer! Kiss me, darling. Oh, kiss me on the lips. <coughs> kiss, kiss. Oh, I'm in love. Kiss me on the mouth. Kiss me, kiss. Kiss me, way. Kiss me, north and south. Kiss me, if you kiss me. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Kiss me, kiss, kiss, kiss. One thing I demand from an audience is courtesy. like you. be my partner, Dory Duro. Resist all urges and look at him. It shouldn't be so hard, lady. I got a face that even my mother couldn't love. Drive the car wash, Sledge. Well, this is an inspired idea. I'm sure nobody could possibly overhear us here. Yeah, plus I'd never ever get my car washed. Okay, Stooling, 
What's the story on these missing kids? Give me the money first. Sledge! Sledge! Your window won't roll up! That's right! Oh! I I just remembered why I never ever get my car washed! What? You, don't! Don't! Get, get, ah! get, you fake! We could have done this over the phone! Clean, not hot waxed. Next move is to check out the adoption agency. Well, that's all right. I'll just go down and torture him and get him to confess. Remember, you can't do that. We have to catch them in the eye. They pose as a married couple with a lot of money and see if they'll sell us a baby. Think anybody will believe we're married? They have a tough enough time believing that we're partners. You sure he was drinking? Well, he was underwater, Darrell. Of course he was drinking. Inspector, it took a diver five minutes to pry this out of his hands. Too bad. Had a wife. Ooh. Well, that explains the drinking. Major, over here. Hey, I've seen that car before. That's that. That's the car that that guy won on that game show this morning. Hammer, you're such a hypocrite. Why? You said you hated those game shows. I, I, I happen to have been preparing for this case, Duro. A policeman has got to keep informed. Why weren't you watching? Sledgehammer, come on down. Hey, we just found this guy's identification. That's him, Mel. Mel Jordan was his name, and he was the winner on that game show this morning. You mean he won this beautiful car on a game show? You think that's funny, Mayjoy? A man just lost his life. Worse than that, he lost a chance to win a million dollars. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Jordan was under the influence. Maybe he's celebrating too soon. I don't know. Maybe the pressure got to him. I don't know why it would. I saw him. He was as calm as a Perry Como groupie. I think we ought to visit his wife, the widow Jordan, and find out a few things. Put together a few pieces. I'll move in a second, Inspector. Oh, never mind. Wait. No, I'll, I'll go around. I just made your night. Yeah? Two tickets to the gun show. I'll pick you up around 8. We want to get there early so we don't miss the free shrapnel. It's really very nice. I, I can't go, though. I have two tickets to the opera. Oh. I'm sure you wouldn't be interested in anything that's not in English. That's not true. I love Stallone movies. Well, maybe the captain will buy the other ticket. Commissioner, we have a major breakthrough in the West Side Strangler case, sir. After eight years of intensive investigation, we finally have incriminating evidence that Wilson is the Strangler. We have a full set of his fingerprints on a donut, sir. And that's right, sir. Believe it or not, on a donut. Yes, sir. Captain. Uh, uh, just a minute, honey. Just... Well, thank you, sir. But I think Rappaport and McCluskey deserve the credit. And then the man is done in by leaving his fingerprints on a cheap powdered donut. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right, sir. What is it, Hammer? Nothing. Hammer? I have the lab report. What is it, Doc? I can take it. There is no euphemistic way for me to say what I have to say. I'm sorry. But 
you are going to die. One large coffee to go on. Sorry, we're all out of coffee. What? You're kidding. Yep. It's taking its toll on customers. Uh... Oh, Hammer. There's a report of gunfire in an apartment building a couple blocks from here. Who needs coffee? That'll get me revved up. Glad you're pinned in. We're not going to get out of this. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Oh. All right, let's show a little respect for the uniform, huh? Get cleaned up, pronto. We're gonna have to make do with the guns we have. Maybe we can hold out until the morning shift gets here. Doro, that's not until 5 a.m. What time is it now? 7.06. Oh, my watch must be fast. You've got to get these lights back on. But those zombies are blocking the way to the emergency generator. Captain, we can get to the generator through the air shafts. I mean, that's a good idea. But you thought of it. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Oh. <laughs> Hey, don't worry. I'm fine. I wish I had y'all in here with me. Oh, I'm almost there. Almost there. This is right. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. This is here. This is light right ahead of me. Where am I? Oh, Hammer, you big oaf. Get out of there. I'll go fix the generator. I think I went left where it should have gone right. Oh, fix the generator. I think I went left where it should have gone right. Or maybe I went right where I should have gone left. And I don't never went okay. Be careful, Captain. I'm glad to see that you can grasp new concepts. Well, enough shop talk. I didn't have any breakfast, and I just want to sit here and enjoy my coffee. Let's go! Oh my God! Relax, I'll get your cup back. Already we've had an armored car hold up, three prisoners, and a car crash. Yeah, it's always slow just after Christmas. Emma, I can't get over how well you play pool. <laughs> Captain, I think I finally figured out how to do that jump shot. No, I just... Oh, wait a minute, Hammer. Let me get the hell out of the way, okay? Doro, you better move, too. He's dangerous. Okay. person that praises my brother is going to get a 44 caliber heart massage. It's not jealousy I hear, is it, Hammer? Right. What has he got that I could possibly be jealous of? He's suave, charming, polite. A better dresser than you? Well, I've got to be going. So what are you all decked out for? Marcel Marceau wears less makeup than that. I have a date. What do you mean a date? 
a date? You mean you have a date? You mean like a date? A date? Like a date with a man? Yes. Someone you know. Your brother. Bro, you can't do that. Hammer, on my off hours, I can do whatever I want. All right, look. If you want a real hot date, I'll fix you up with the flasher in the holding cell. At least he's ready to commit to a relationship. You're lucky. You're an only child. Who are you talking to, Hammer? Oh, I'm just... I... the cars the FBI uses. Great. We'll bust them for car theft, too. She's asleep. I'll wake her up. Hammer! This is a hospital, for God's sake. It's a hospital. I know I was going to use a silencer. I will assign you a new partner. I don't want a new partner, Captain. I want Hammer. He's the only one who can help me get those scum suckers. Scum sucker. Hammer, we have to leave. She's obviously very, very sick. Very sick. Precinct, it's Pee Wee's Playhouse. Oh, Thoreau, you're inside now. Would you please take off those sunglasses? What sunglasses? Hey, Thoreau, I think you've been hanging around Hammer too long. <laughs> unless somebody breaks something. Doro, I think it'd be a good idea if you took a week off. I just took a week off. Take another one! I can't. I got a foreign slime ball to catch. If everyone acted like her, the world would be a better place. <clears throat> Good, Duro. Very good. But you got to follow through with that backhand. Follow through. All right, Stooley, we want some information. Hey, don't blow my cover. And wait your turn. There's a guy around here printing some funny money, and we want to know where to find the creep. I said wait your turn. I'm losing my patience with you, eggplant. Jeez, I didn't know you had a sister, Sledge. I don't. Then I got nothing to say to you. Yeah? Let's take out his teeth. You work on his uppers, I'll take out his lowers. All right, all right, all right, I'll tell you. The only counterfeit money around is coming from a check-cashing joint downtown. Where is it? It's not an easy place to find, and it's in a pretty rough neighborhood. I better draw you a map. You got any paper on you? Here. Okay. Take fifth to Broadway. Oh. Down to Central, and it's right there. 
Why can't we just take a shortcut? You're here. Because that is a one-way street. Look, instead of taking Broadway, why don't we take Fifth and then make a right on this side street right there? That's not a side street. That's a birthmark. Oh, all right. Come on, roadmap. You're coming with us. Next. These two men want to ask you some questions. Why, they lose their way to Brooks Brothers? Inspector Hammer, if I were you, I would not be quite so jejune. Give me a dictionary. I'm going to find out what you just said, and then I'm going to clobber you with it. Inspector, we've got no time for vulgar banter. We've got new evidence against Jean-Claude Baptiste. You know him, the counterfeiter, who's free, thanks to you. Oh, yeah. Maurice Chevalier. He's still printing money, but... One of his plates are missing. What makes you so sure? Take a look at this. So far, he's only been able to pawn these off on unintelligent people. I guess that's how you got a hold of it. Cut the jokes, Hammer. We know you're a renegade, and we think you took the other printing plate. Don't be ridiculous, you seersuckers. Detective, perhaps you could have a word with your partner. Sure. Nice going, Hammer. Miss... He could be in serious trouble if he's withholding evidence. He hasn't got the plate. I do. Doro, you better give these men what they want. Come on. No way. Why should she? These guys aren't even cops. They're zombies. You, you think, think these, these guys, guys can, can crack, crack this case? case? Get, Get serious, serious Captain. Captain. Enough! I can't stand stereo hammers! It gives me a double migraine. Doro, if you don't cooperate with the FBI, I have no other choice but to put you on suspension. <laughs> Fine. Here's my badge. Adios. I'll give you mine too, Captain. Just as soon as I find it. <laughs> Do my hair. The problem, Thatcher, is that your hair has no concept. What do you mean, no concept? Well, in that it doesn't really fit the shape of your head. So, how did you come to find me? Oh, uh, by car. Yes. <laughs> well, did someone refer you? Only a bloody bloke named Ill. Ill. Henry Ill. Henry Ill. Renee, darling, you look lovely. Beautiful. <laughs> it's most unfortunate about Henry. Yes. Well, I suppose we'll just have to carry on without him. Carry on. His vocation and mine were the same. Really? Really. Yes, well, the uh, jewel trade can be most lucrative. It ain't exactly crumpets. You might leave your home address with me before you leave. Oh, I might, might I? Yes. I'd like to put you on my mailing list so I can send you some free samples of astringent. <laughs> How generous. Well, anything for a fellow countryman. Perhaps. Right, right. God save the king. Queen. Don't confuse me. If I catch him, he's going to be Sir Dead Guy. why it is the Russians want you back so badly. Well, yeah, I mean, after all, the Union didn't invent anything that could destroy America. There's no need. Hammer could destroy America all by himself. I have been thinking it could be a secret project that I work on called Operation Squash. Operation Squash? That sounds disgusting. What do you mean, that they just would make us all eat squash? N no, Inspector Hammer. Operation Squash is a plan to remove all the nitrogen from your soil. Without nitrogen, America's farm industry would collapse. It's collapsing with nitrogen. If Operation Squash succeeds, Russia will control the entire world's food supply. Well, I've had my supply, because I'm telling you, I'm stuffed. God, take it easy, will you? Look at 
There are people starving in Siberia, and you're playing around with your food? Come on. Inspector Sledgehammer. I want to ask you a couple of questions. Sure. Keep up with me and we can talk. Is this really necessary? Yes. It's essential for your cardiovascular system. No, I mean, do we have to do it right now? If you suddenly stop exercising, your muscles will cramp up. Oh. Have you ever seen this woman? Yes. She was in my class, but she dropped out. Oh. She had no commitment. How many times did she attend? 700. Some people just can't cut it. <gasps> Inspector Hammer, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm demonstrating a police force breathing technique. You look like you need my remedial aerobics course. Listen, lady, I'm a man. I can do anything you can do, except conceive. Now let's get physical. Do you remember the name of the girl? Um, Joan. Uh, Mickey. Uh, Carrie. I don't know. You'll have to look up in files. Did she ever do anything suspicious? I saw her eating red meat once. Inspector Hammer, don't yes. you ever lift weights? Oh. I lift this one every day. Anything else you can tell me about this girl? Inspector, I have hundreds of clients. I don't have time to keep tabs on every single one. Do you know the whereabouts of all the criminals you've ever dealt with? Yeah, the cemetery. Look, you look like you could use a break. Why don't you get her filed? Anything to help. me to a workout. I got pains in places. I didn't even know I had places. How'd you find out? Other than you're in lousy shape. Maybe you'll have a little more respect for me when you take a look at this file and find out what I got on that tank top terrorist. Yeah, what did you get? Allow me. Vodka on the rocks, half a twist, shaker not stirred. Am I right? Ah, no, that's that limey jerk. I'm a beer drinking hombre. Root beer. Over here, Hammer. You're not looking cool enough. While you're strolling around, it's a nice touch to eat some fruit. Good image. Here we are. Mm. <laughs> Mr. Hammer, why are you eating a wax apple? Why am I eating a wax apple? You're on your own with that one, pal. <laughs> you know, I, I can't thank you enough for taking this case. Sledge, I can't believe that Sheer Will kept you holding on to that car. It didn't. My sleeve got cut on the windshield wiper.
Inspector Hammer, I'm Officer Elizabeth Jenkins. You ran into me earlier today. Oh, yeah, uh, right. Uh, how's your partner? Aside from the concussions and broken arms and multiple contusions, he's fine. Ah. I, as you can see, I'm unharmed. Oh, um, this is my partner, Dory Duro. Uh, let me just say, I'm sorry for that little accident this morning. Oh, no apologies are necessary, Inspector. Your actions were completely justified. That looks like you've got a fan. Regular hammer groupie. Go ahead, try and belittle the fact that there's a few people on this force who appreciate me for the competency I project. Shut up. I don't know about you, but I'm stuffed. What do you say we take a look at some of those videos I rented? On Golden Gun, Peggy Sue got murdered. <laughs> the way we wounded. Home video target range. What do they think of next? Shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me. Remind me not to rent that one again. It's too expensive. Thanks for answering the door so promptly. It was chilly outside. Uh, listen up, lady. I don't mean to sound rude, but just who in the hell are you? I'm crushed, Inspector. How many times do we have to meet? Well, Elizabeth Jenkins. No, Officer Jenkins. Oh, yeah, right. I didn't recognize it without the billy club. <laughs> well, just what do you think you're doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm getting ready to cook you dinner. All right, female. Cop or no cop, the playtime is over. I don't much fancy having a strange woman in my kitchen cooking dinner for me. If I did, I'd still be married. Oh, give it up, Sledge. Don't fight it. You felt the same thing I did the first time we met. What? You mean whiplash? I mean the excitement, the electricity, the sudden impact. You know what I'm talking about? Sorry, lady, I tend not to feel a lot from the neck up. Oh, Sledge. When I was transferred here over a few weeks ago, I thought for certain there wouldn't be a real man here on the force. That is, of course, before I saw you in action. Hey, Jenkins, everybody likes a compliment once in a while, but you've taken things way too far. The last person who invaded my privacy here got pistol whipped. Dang fool should have left the second I agreed to buy those encyclopedias. Baby, you can pistol whip me anytime. <laughs> what is the matter with you, Jenkins? Cops are supposed to use excessive force, not request it. I want you out of here pronto. I gotta get up early tomorrow morning and meet my partner. Your partner? You mean that common trollop I encountered back at the station, that tramp? Now that does it. Nobody berates my partner except me. And the only reason I give her such a hard time is to keep her at a distance. Vulnerability in law enforcement can be fatal. I'm willing to risk it. Mm. Can't you get the message? I'm not in the mood. I'm throwing you out of here. No, 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 please, baby, please, let me stay. I want to stay. I promise I'm good or bad or whatever you want me to be. I love you. Love me. Oh. Hey, Jenkins, I'm sorry. Now you've gone and done it. Now you've gone and done it. Now you've gone and done it. You just broke a family heirloom. That lamp had great sentimental value. It accidentally electrocuted my grandfather. I'm so sorry. Punish me. Pu Listen, woman, you want me to call the police over here? But we are the police. Don't confuse me. You know, that's really not such a bad idea. I really do think the police should join this little party. Help! Help! Inspector Hammer's like a man and jump me! Help! Jenkins trying to make my bad reputation worse? <laughs> Ow! Ow! <laughs> Jenkins, you're sick. You need to get help. What kind of help? I don't know. Help from a qualified professional. Somebody you can talk to. Someone who will listen to you. Someone who will hopefully give you a full frontal lobotomy. The only kind of help I need is from you, Inspector. 
Inspector. Make love to me. No way, lady. My motto is make war, not love. Take a hike now and we'll just forget this evening ever happened. But I don't want you to forget. Okay, lady, that's a very nice gun, but I got no time to play. You show me yours and I'll show you mine. All right, I admit it. Beautiful. Thanks. Not you, the gun. That 38 is a gorgeous weapon. Don't you understand? Turn your badge for good. You're never again gonna cause me pain. Got your slut of a partner over here with me. Why don't you come over to my house, 1153 Oceanic Drive, and we'll play. Or else. <laughs> All right, amigo. Let's get this broad that breaking up is hard to do. Suspension. Hey, you got bottled water on the brain? I'm in perfect condition. I could rent my biceps to Rambo and not miss him. Hammer, Dr. Fall says you have acrophobia. That's ridiculous. Look. <sighs> See? Nothing. Sledge, it's a fear of heights. A fear of heights? Fear of... Hey, yes, does it look like I'm afraid of heights? I mean, please, no, give me your reading on it. Oh, I'm afraid. Oh, I guess... Come on, please. Come on, please. Oh, oh. Get down. Oh. is a failure. A woman warden? What's next, equal pay? Call me, sir. So, the infamous Nick LeBeau. Tell me, why do they call you Nick the Dart? Because I score a lot of points, sir. Oh! Don't talk back to the warden. I'm sorry. Oh! Don't apologize to the warden. Oh! Don't nod to the warden. You must have friends in high places, Mr. LeBeau. I've been instructed to place you in the same cell with Clive Winston. Yeah, well, we're old pals. We went to reform school together. It's impossible. Clive Winston must be 20 years older than you. Yeah, he's also an idiot. He flunked 11th grade 19 times. Well, I don't care who you know. In here, you're nobody. Nothing but a number. Everybody in Chadney is just a number. Yeah, what's your number? 36, 24, 36? Oh! I like to think of this as a progressive prison. That's because it gets progressively worse. Yeah? So much for the sales pitch. Any negative points? Oh! What was that for? Nothing. Well, that's a negative point. Any others? Yes. Don't even think about escaping. Nobody escapes from my prison. Not even me. If I tried, I'd have me shot. Rules are rules. Understand? Oh! I told you. No, none.
76, you moron, 67! What the hell is this, Chester? New roommate. I don't need no stinking roommate. Sorry, Clive. Ain't no more room. Well, take some. Kill somebody. Orders is orders. Y'all keep your nose clean or I'll wipe it off of this here. Close, 67. No. 67. 67, you tomato brain. Dang. I thought I was stupid. Well, a nice spread you got here. Got a bedroom and a bathroom and a vanity. And I guess this is the den. Hey, let me give you a piece of advice. I don't like you. Now, I got two rules in here. One, shut up. Two, stay out of my way. Yeah, tough guy. Well, I got some rules, too. Number one, don't make me mad. And number two, don't use my toothbrush, because then you'll make me mad and you'll be breaking rule number one. So which bunk is mine? I'd, 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 I'd take the top one. I choose the top one. Want to give me a boost up? Shut up, huh? I think I can, I think I can make it. Oh! Oh! Thanks. Whew. Man. I mean, the guy could go stir crazy here. Name's Nick LeBeau. Friends call me Nick the Dog! I'm like a cat. Always land on my feet. Nick the Dodd, huh? I heard you. Yeah. All bad, I hope. Yeah, I heard you hit a lot of people. That's it. Yeah, I hit a few people. I hit a lot of people. I even killed some of them. As a matter of fact, a couple of times I was contracted for your organization. Whoop! Hey, I didn't say I liked you. I said I heard you. You understand? Now put a pillow in that mouth. All right? I'm trying to read here. Yeah. Well, they can put me in a cage. But they can't tame this animal. Yada, 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 warden! Hey, knock it off, Jabron, will ya? No. Take this, you lousy throat! What are you gonna do about it, huh? Yeah, yeah, show me how tough you are. when I dry you off to kill you when you sleep. How can they expect to reform us slugs when they coddle us like this, huh? I know that guy. I know that guy. I've seen that guy someplace before. Where? Well, what do you say, buddy? Huh? Want to play some parts easy? Maybe I didn't make myself clear to you. But I hate every single bone. No. I hate every single molecule in your body. Now, if you were smart, You'll get as far away as possible from me and die. I remember that sledgehammer, a ah, cop. He once busted my mother for tearing tags off of mattresses. Come on, Zeke, what's a cop doing in prison? I don't know. I don't know. But he's not going to be here much longer. <laughs> <laughs> Good. What is it? Cream of lard on toast. <coughs> I 
say prison food is bad. Get through. Yo, Clyde. Do you mind if I join you? Why don't you go stick your head? I don't mind if I do. For Zool, huh? This lard melts in your mouth, doesn't it? This is delicious. Look, you blonde-headed baboon. If you don't leave me alone, when I get out of here, I'm gonna hire you to kill yourself. Hey, Clive, for you, half price. Give me your butter knife. Huh? Give me your butter knife! You just saved my life here. Nah, it's nothing any other good hitman wouldn't do. So it simply disconnected its arm. Ingenious. Look, any luck in finding a connection between the android and the scientific community? Well, according to the National Institute of Technological Innovations, or NIFTY, mm -hmm. there are over 100 labs involved in android research. Unfortunately, they don't have anything that works. Now, here's a list of what I thought most probable, sir. Let's see that. All right. I, okay, why don't you, um... Just... Hammer! Leave that thing alone no, as evidence. I, I didn't... Get away from it! No, I... It was... Shut up! Okay. I'll tell you what. You, you uh, give an ass a try. Oh, good thinking, right. sir. Yes, I'm going to hope the gun will not cut through the red tape. Who should I talk to over there? Check out the uh, foreman. He's a friend of mine. Now, I want you to look at a list of the scientists, too. Now, this is dating back. Starting in 1960. Hammer! I'm having trouble, sir. You're in trouble! No. Get away from that thing! I, I told you it's it. evidence! Stay Wait. away from it! Shut up! So this is dating from 1962. Maybe start in the 70s. I mean, they weren't really doing Doro, we've got to go all the way back as far as we can. We give NASA a try. What the hell are you doing? Well, uh, this thing is... Just finding the clue we've been looking for all along, sir. Androids are us. Better check it out. If this hotel is earthquake proof. Oh, look at that. Help. Oh, no. Look, little Dash. He's trying to escape. He's trying to escape. Help! What, 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 I was just checking to see if you can hear it. Can you hear this? Stop screwing around with that thing! I was checking to see if it was on. Yes, it's on! Okay, okay. Leave it alone! Okay, okay. Archbishop, I'll take care of the pelican. No way, Sledge. He's mine. Yeah, that's it. Okay, a little more this way. Good. Marvelous. Okay, one more there. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I like it. Butch. Thank you. All right, Butch, you ready for the snow job? Okay, let the snow go. Okay, Cindy, let's do it. Oh, yes. More snow, Butchie. Oh, that's it, Cindy. Round this way. Good girl. Good. Loose them off. There we go. Oh, that's it. More snow, Butch. Oh, that's marvelous. I love this in Boston. Oh, 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 oh. 
disrupting a Don Merrill shoot. I'm Inspector Sledgehammer, and I came to ask you if you... Bad, bad, bad. Can't you see we're being creative here? Listen, Shutterbrain. I ask, you talk. You got it? Well, you'll just have to come back later. I am on a horrible deadline. Try it again, Cindy. Let's take this off here. That's fine. Okay, lose the muscle. Oh! Oh! You have destroyed my entire icy white set. You are a clumsy buffoon. Listen, Tiptoes, don't you know men don't wear earrings? Women wear earrings. Men wear tattoos. Oh, I've got one of those, too. Oh, you need help. I'll bet you've worn out every psychiatrist's couch in town. Oh, just shut up, you, you. Hey, don't call oh. me, you, oh. you, 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 oh. you. I'm Jessica Hayden, and I own this studio. Now, what's going on here? I'm Inspector Sledgehammer, and I'm looking for information about Kim Field. I see. Why don't we talk in my office? I'm a little behind, so I'll have to check out Christie's outfits while we chat. Um... Try it without the robe, darling. Yes. I understand Kim Field was with your agency. Just for a short time. Frankly, she was too inexperienced for big-time modeling. Her cousin came in here earlier looking for her, but we had no information. Um, let's try it with just the teddy. Did you know Kim's cousin Sally was in the hospital right now, unconscious? Did you know that? Oh, how dreadful. I do hope she'll be all right. Do you remember anything at all about Kim? Did she mention anything about relatives or contacts or kneecaps or anything? Let's try something completely different. I'm sorry, Inspector. I really am. I wish I could help you. Oh, baloney. The only thing you wished was that you were queen of the forest. <laughs> Inspector, I have a business to run. Yeah? And I got a case to crack. Inspector, I'm sorry. Our girls do not accept home phone numbers. That's not a phone number. That's a citation for indecent exposure. The only time that girl has anything on is when she's got a coat on her tongue. Oh. You bungling idiot! Modeling an exquisite ensemble by Lupe of Paris. Notice how her gorgeous blonde hair falls on her white shoulder pads and highlights her pure silk body. Perfect. Ten thousand. I'm sure your highness meant ten thousand to start, correct? Oh, Jessica, <laughs> you always were a hard bargainer. Twenty thousand. Remember, you do pay for what you get. She will be a wife. And now, presenting Brandy, all naughty and dressed in pink. Twenty-five thousand. She will be a mistress. And now last but not least, Michelle. Feisty and full of fire. Fifty thousand. She will be a wife and mistress. That's it, girls. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. For That's right. And you're under arrest. Oh, really? She's a cop! Oh. 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 Just like in the movies, handsome leading man saves frail, helpless girl. Oh. 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 Hey, I wore that tie to the prom, mammal face.
have a, an important meeting back at the office with, with the next rat vulture. Pardon me, miss, but will you marry me? Get out! And here, so there's no hard feelings. Well, just what I expected from a sleaze bag like that. What, did we get nothing out of him? No, that he didn't give us compact discs. Well, let's see what we got going here. Born fried. Look at this. Stranglers in the night. Hey, keep it down up there. Hey, do you mind, people? I'm just spinning a few records, huh? Well, cool it. Inconsiderate. Well, if we can't shoot him, may as well listen to one, huh? Stuff on there. I've heard better noises when Mayjoy had indigestion. Maybe it sounds better backwards. I think she turned. What is this? These are my songs. You'll pay for it. All of you will pay. All right, amigo. Let's go find out which Looney Tune wrote these Looney Tunes. Sounds like you're a little rusty. Rusty. I haven't been playing much. I've been very busy. I... Yeah. Guess murder's a full-time job. Murder? I, uh, don't know what you're talking about, ma'am. Your own brother ripped you off. He stole your songs, he got rich and famous, and he met girls. Does that ring a bell? Oh, I admit it. I admit that I wrote the songs that put my brother on top of the charts, but then the boys in the band and Jerry Vicuna, they promised me a bright future. But, uh, they wanted to rip me off as well. So you killed them too? Please, mate. Let me... Give my own confession. Now, posing as the pilot was easy to do. I just brought the plane up to a high altitude. And then you got a parachute and jumped out of the door. I left those jerks screaming and hugging the floor. And now they're dead, you see. You killed all three. And now with Jerry Vaikuna, I had to get creative. So you stabbed him in the back. Oh, I left feeling elated. Now you've got a record. Five counts of murder, one. I don't think the two more counts should bother anyone. first hit. You just fired the shot heard around the world. Who are you talking to? No, not nobody. I No, that was just, uh, I don't know, just looking over here. Uh, by the way, I'm Tina Clanton, Mr. the late Mr. Bryce's private secretary. This way, please. I'll meet you on 28. This is a long way up. Why don't you sit this one out? You must be itching like crazy. Will you stop nagging me, Darrow? I told you, I'm immune. Go on.
and Mr. Swenson will see you now. Well, yippee ki I'm a big fan of the police department. This here's a real pleasure. Sixteen and a half, and sixteen and three quarters, and nineteen. Seventeen. So I was a little bit off. Mr. Duncan B. Sheet. One hundred and seventy-four thousand five hundred twenty-two plus sixteen, one hundred twenty-eight thousand four hundred sixty-three and thirty-two cents. Oh. Oh. Sorry, I was just figuring out uh, how much it would cost to get my daughter braces. I wanted to ask you some questions about Edmund Bryce. Any idea who might want to see him dead? Me, for one. He wanted me to cheat on the books, but I refused. Of course, now that he's dead, I can retain my professional integrity. Yes. And you also have time to drive around your 1982 Skybird. With the broken shock absorbers and misaligned steering column? Oh, come on, Darrell, it's just a toy. No, actually, it's a model of my 82 four by four. You get one free when you buy the vehicle. So it was you who killed Bryce, huh? Uh, your telltale tire tracks are all over the death scene. No sense! My four by four's been in the shop since Tuesday. You can check on it. Now, I have work to do. If you still need a suspect, I suggest you speak with Derwood Monroe on 38. He hated Bryce, too. 38? We'll go after lunch. Bless you. Bless you. By the way, What's this doohickey? The complete production flow chart. Correlating costs versus total unit manufacturing coordinates for all our facilities, for the entire North American continent. It's taken me seven years to perfect. anymore. Why is that? Because I'm dead. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. No men allowed till after 10. Unless you want to be in the show. You gonna leave quiet or do I have to call the cops? I am the cops, Lardette. Looking for this girl. Hmm. <laughs> Don't know her. Uh, She's probably been here, everyone has. Yeah. Stick around. You might see Mother Teresa. <laughs> Butch sent me. Tell that weasel joy the slug I won my alimony check. Oh, so that's it, huh? You're the ex-Mrs. the slug. Now they have you and everybody else in here thrown behind bars. <laughs> oh, thank goodness somebody beat me to it. You don't go anywhere. Officer, what would your mother say? Ask her yourself. She's right over there. Sit down. That's a Shonda for the neighbors. I haven't seen anything this perverted since the Webster holiday special. You're all under arrest. Get up, girls! Oh. 
this is the way you spend your free time, Earl. I'm surprised at you. You should thank me. I saved your skin. Yeah, but look what they did to my shirt. Tell her to let go. Uh-uh, not until you tell me what you're working on. Something big, isn't it? Ah, I can't tell you, Earl. Everybody knows women can't keep secrets. Oh, it's got something to do with that girl in the picture, doesn't it? Give it a rest. I'm not telling you why I'm looking for the governor's daughter. Oh. The shop's daughter? Who squealed? The governor's a fascist pig. And a very good one. I don't want any trouble with him and his people. Check Dr. Masseuse's massage parlor. Girls come and go there all the time. Yeah, massage. It sounds like a good idea. I got kind of a crick in my neck. Yeah, we have reservations. Buckingham's. Buckingham. Buckingham. Ah, the bridal suite. <laughs> Newlyweds. No, we're Shriners. Just give me the key, desk jockey. Calm yourself, honeypot. Hey, don't tell me what to do, you old cow. I'm running the show here. Start! Supposed to act like a newlywed. I am. That's how I acted when I was a newlywed. Decorated this place, Tammy Baker? And what is this? A bed or a jumbo box of chocolates? Hammer? The Sonnyman Suite. People who come here are in love. Uh, Hearts represent love. Throw the heart isn't a wimp, it's a muscle. And it doesn't have time for love. It's too busy pumping blood. Very romantic. You know, I happen to believe in love and marriage. It goes together like a horse and carriage. Oh, gag me with a nightstick, Darrell. You know what marriage is? It's driving the wrong way down a one-way street and having a head-on collision with a dump truck called your wife. No, I'm not much of a drinker, but I do like champagne, especially Goujon. Oh, this sissy stuff makes me puke. Mm. But sometimes I like to puke. <laughs> so the doc says to the bartender, put it on my bill. <laughs> Check in every hour, you understand? Did you say bust? Oh, Did you just say big bust? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm glad you're home this evening. Oh, yes. Believe it or not, the precinct bimbo is taking a rare night off from her usual all night partying. Darrow, I'm a cop, and I got gut instincts. And this cop's gut is telling me you're upset about what I said in the locker room today. Either that or I got heartburn. Why couldn't you just be man enough to admit that nothing happened? Because I'm not sure nothing did happen. Are you? What if something did happen? Well, if it did, I wish one of us would have been there to stop it. Oh, my God, this is a disaster. They're probably going to kick us out the force. They don't. I have to transfer anyway. I mean, my reputation is shot. Nobody respects me. Well, that'd never stop me. Hammer, I don't understand how we could have passed out. We didn't drink that much champagne. Unless we were drugged. Wait a minute. This cop's gut is asking me a question. What if we were drugged? You better go talk to the big-headed bellboy. I'll call Captain Trunk. Have him meet us at the hotel. All right. 
right, Vermin. We know you're behind the so-called voodoo murders. Yep. There you go, Inspector. Okay. Good as new. Well, thank you, Major. Hey, man, I don't say nothing more until my lawyer gets here. Oh, yeah, is that right? Mr. Huh? Tober, we found this doll in the victim's apartment, and it resembles you. Hey, I will handle this, Darrow, all right? That doll's got nothing to do with the murders this mutant meatloaf has committed. Besides, that voodoo stuff, it's all malarkey. Please be careful with that! I want my lawyer! Now! Come on, stop dancing. Now, how did you murder those people while they were in a locked room, huh? Sledge. What? He's allowed to have his lawyer here, by law. Hey, no dude in a three-piece suit is gonna let this cretin go! Lawyers are nothing but parasites who prey on the wallets of creeps like this. Is that so, friend? Yeah, that's... Scott. Scott Grable, how hey, you doing? How are you? Do you know this fascist? Hey, shut up, earthworm. Or I'll deck you. So, what's with this get-up here? What, did you join the billionaire boys club? I'm a lawyer now, Sledge. Wayne State, class of 73. Yeah, well, here's your client. State Penn, class of 97. Darrell, this is Scott Grable. You've heard me talk about my little friend from high school. Uh, no, not really. Oh, well, you know, I never talk about my friends. I like this guy, he thinks. Nice to meet you. Well, since we're all friends here, I guess I'll be able to watch Carson tonight after all. Why don't you let me hold the doll? So, how long you been in town? A couple of months. Oh, how come you didn't call me? Too busy, huh? I'll tell you what, why don't we go have a drink and talk over old times? I'll have a drink! You're not going anywhere, felon. Uh, yes, he is. I've arranged for your bail, Dominic. He's free to go. Bail? Oof. Come this way, Mr. Tober. We're letting you out. I told you I'd walk right out of here, Blondie. Yeah. Let's go. Degradation. Hammer, what the hell are you doing? I'm taking this party downtown, Captain. You're all under arrest. Where were you last night, Mr. Bell? I was right here. Yeah. Yeah, I was here, designing these gag toys for Halloween. See? Trick or treat. Hey. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. Hey, watch out. Whoa. Huh? How many times do I have to tell you I live here? Listen, pal. He who lives by the toy dies by the toy. Goodbye. Look what Harold Bell just sent me. A sledgehammer doll. You see the similarity? It's cute. Yeah. Can I see it? Okay, but give it back. It's really offensive. The guy did an accurate job. I guess they haven't got all the bugs out of it yet. It malfunctioned. No, it didn't. Can I see that? 